the big picture of our research is developing AI diagnostic tools that you can carry in your hand that can be replicated cheaply and essentially manufacturing artificial doctors. The public health systems around the world are faced with a catastrophe, namely this enormous, new, unexpected prevalence of chronic disease. So chronic disease means the treatment goes on forever. And the earlier you can intervene, the less it costs society, the less of the burden on the individual and on the family. Being able to diagnose people near to where they live, at home, at work, in the community pharmacies, we can catch these diseases very early before they develop into extremely difficult to treat, uh, sight-threatening, life-threatening uh, conditions uh, within a matter of 5, 10, 15 years. So the retina is very sensitive, vascular and nervous tissue. It's visible uniquely from outside the body. So we're doing machine learning on hundreds of thousands of retinal images. We're using GTX 1080s to learn signatures of the chronic diseases. There's over a billion people at risk of diabetic retinopathy, glaucoma, macular edema. Uh, secondly, we're deploying the trained neural nets using TensorFlow RT to Jetson X1 to make a mobile medical device that can diagnose uh, the consequences of these chronic diseases on the spot in primary care or community care. The main trick here is to replicate the medical skills of specialists, tertiary care physicians, such as ophthalmologists who are in very scarce supply worldwide. So in order to build one of our models, it presently takes about 40 GPU hours or about 2 million trillion calculations to learn the essential signatures of the data sets. And even a year ago or six months ago, this would be pretty much an impossible amount of compute to do even in the cloud. Now we're able to do it in desktop uh, GPU clusters, which we built, and we can run a model basically every day. We believe there's about 40 to 50 uh, important infectious, non-communicable, chronic, acute diseases, all of which can be spotted by looking at the human retina. So in terms of what we do next, as the data accumulate from clinical deployment of these devices, we envision a community of users developing machine learning apps for their, quote, favorite disease, unquote. So that's a way to build a worldwide research uh, participation to help diagnose more and more diseases very close to home.